Hi and welcome back to the Mr Tower Maths video. This week's video we've got two circles, yellow circles as you can see, inside this triangle and the circles are tangent to the triangle at two separate points and also tangent to each other and we've got to work out the radius of these circles. If you want to have a go at this problem, uh, stop the video now uh, so you can have a try because I'm about to go through it and show you my solution. And as always, if you found a different way to do it, please share in the comments because I'm always interested to see. Right, so, um, similar to the problem last week, you want to, with circles, put your radii on. So, I'm going to put the radii on from, well, the ones that are connecting the two circles here. And I'm also going to put the radii on from the tangent, the triangle, to the centre of the circles. Okay, now if it has radius r and these are both the same radius circle, that would have a length 2r. Each of these would also be a length r. Um, now, what I do know because of circle theorems is that uh, these lines here must be equal because tan two tangents that meet at a point um, are equal in length. That's one of your circle theorems, and these must also be equal up here at the top. Okay. Now, the next thing in my solution is turning this into a triangle. That's going to be a right angle triangle, so I'm making a, dropping it perpendicular and horizontal there. Now, this line here, the diagonal of this small triangle that I've made, is parallel to this side ED here because, well, we've got right angles between the tangent and the radius, and so because these are the same length, we basically shifted this side ED by a length of 2R, um, same on either end, and it's perpendicular either side, so that must be parallel. Now what that means is that this triangle here that I've drawn is therefore similar because it's got a base that's parallel, because that's horizontal, it's got uh, that right hand side which is uh, perfectly vertical so that is also parallel and then it's got that side that I've just explained is also parallel so we've got a similar triangle here that will be useful in a second now the next thing you might have wanted to do this earlier actually is work out the full length of this side here so the full length of this side by Pythagoras is going to be 35 okay now because of the similar triangles I'm going to use that with my 2R to work out in terms of R, the length of this side and this side. Now, similar triangles, I could try and work out, well, I could work out scale factors from 35 to 2R. That would basically be timesing it by 2R over 35, each of these sides. So I could times 21 by 2R over 35, 28 by 2R over 35, and that would give me these side lengths. You can also look at the scale factor between 35 to 21. So 35 um, to 21, would be timesing by 21 over 35, which is the same as timesing by 3 over 5, okay? Because if, if you simplify that, divide by 7 top and bottom, you get 3 over 5. So 2r times by 3 over 5 is going to give me 6 over 5r, okay? Now you can do the same process from going from 35 to 28, and then times 2r by the same thing. So 35 to 28, well we need to divide by 35 times by 28, and that again is equivalent to um, 4 fifths this time, not 3 fifths, because you divide by 7 again. So 4 fifths times 2r is going to give us 8 fifths r, okay? Right, now, got to this point, and you might think, oh, I can try Pythagoras, like works in last week's video. But actually, that doesn't work here because we just end up with the same thing and it all kind of cancels out, so it doesn't really work. But that would be a good idea to at least try. So the next thing is, because these are equal lengths, could I look at in some way the lengths of these triangles um, and making it work, making all the lengths fit essentially? So if I carry this on down here, this is a length of R, so that has to be a length of R here. And likewise, that's R, so this also has to be R here. Right, now what I'm next going to do is I said right at the start that these two lengths here are the same. 
Okay, you know what? That's one of the circle theorems. So let's let's give that a, a, a letter of variable for the minute. Let's call that x. Call that x. And then we'll do the same thing with the ones up here. So we'll call that y. Call this y. Now what I can do from there is I can start forming some equations. So I've got x add this bit, which is 2r plus y. So x add 2r add y is equal to 35, the full length. Now if I do that with my base, I've got x add 8 fifths r. Um, add r, because x add 8 fifths r, this bit here. Um, add r here, the rest of the way. And that has got to be equal to 28. Now the last bit is the vertical. So again, that's going to be r, and then plus 6 fifths r, and then plus y is equal to 21. So r plus 6 fifths r plus y is equal to 21. Right, now I'm going to simplify these second two equations. So that's going to give me x plus uh, 8 fifths r plus 1r is going to give me uh, 8 and 5 is 13 over 5r is equal to 28. And then for the second one, I'm going to have 1r plus 6 fifths r. So that will give me 5 out of 6 is 11 over 5r um, plus y is equal to 21. Okay, right, now there's a couple of ways I could go about sorting this out now. So essentially I could just take away, uh, if I call this equation one, this equation two, just for clarity, this equation three. If I do equation one, take away equation two, uh, what I'm gonna get is, well, x take x, that'll cancel. I get two r, take away 13 over five r, and then I've still got my y left, and I have 35 take away 28. So the x's will cancel. Uh, 2 take away 13 over 5. Well, 2 is 10 over 5, so I end up with minus 3 over 5. R, if you do 2 take away 13 over 5. Um, and then we've got 35, we've got plus y, sorry. And then we've got 35 take away 28, which will leave us with 7. So let's call this equation 4. So then if we do equation four, the one we've just got, take away equation three. So we're going to do minus three fifths r, take away 11 over five r. That's going to leave us a minus 14 over five r. The y's will cancel. And then we get seven take away 21, which leaves us with negative 14. Nearly done there. So you can see we're going to have a solution here. Divide both sides now uh, by minus 14 over 5 and we've got the r is equal to 5 okay so that's the solution i hope you enjoyed that it was a little bit of a tricky problem and you need to with quite a lot of these geometry ones draw them out and and start working on different things and using some strategies that hopefully you're learning by watching these videos Anyway, I hope you enjoy and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye. If you like this video, then there should be plenty more videos just up here. Uh, hopefully it's, it's here. That's where it should be. The one that you want to watch next. Okay. See you in the next one. Bye bye.